Hi, welcome to another unboxing video. This is my new microscope, um, which I'm going to be using for surface mount components. And I just thought I'd uh, do a quick video and show you. It's well packaged this. Just bought it off eBay. It's made by the company and on store. Nice box. Just open that up. Right, what comes in the box is you got a manual. This one's for the ADSM302, which is the 2018 flagship model made by Andon Star. It's well packaged, it's got um, some nice quality foam around it. And you are seeing this as, as, I, as I go, I haven't actually seen any of this myself. So I'll run through it all with you. Right, so that's the box totally empty. So it comes packaged with a couple of silica gels to keep it dry. It's a nice sturdy metal type um, microscope this. It's got a decent lens with a lens cover on as well. Boasts a 5 inch screen and you can record with this one. It's got a, um, a trans flash or micro SD connector uh, slot and it's got HD out so you can basically plug it into a, a TV and uh, through the HDMI. So what comes with it is a, a little remote control. Feels a little bit plasticky and it doesn't come with batteries either. But um, only time will tell if it's uh, it'll stop shaking on the mic on the actual microscope when you're using it if it's if it's actually a full cordless with uh, without having to touch any buttons. Right. There is a set of controls that come with it. Um, it looks to me as if there's a plus minus in power. So obviously that must be able to go through the menus. So you can actually use a cord or you can use a remote control with it. Standard USB with power with a 90 degree bend on the micro USB connection. And then you've got your HDMI lead, which is a standard HDMI with a, um, it's a micro HDMI I would say. So obviously it comes with practically everything they go up and running um, and a little power supply modular. The actual stand itself, it's all metal. It's all metal, it's solid. It's anodized black so it'll cut back on reflections when you're working on stuff. Um, it's got like an anti-head style lighting system. It means you can just move things to where you want them. And it's obviously got a, a nice sort of rack type rack and pinion type um, movement. So anyway, I'm going to put this all together now. Um, it's got a little clicking type angle. So you can poise the screen towards you and there's a little ring at the top which looks like where the, the grub screw would fit in to lock it down. So I'm going to screw that in there and there's plenty of clearance on this model as well so if you want to do some soldering you know if you imagine this as a soldering iron you know, you've got room to work and, and also look at the screen at the same time. So there you have it. Um, I'll have to power it on for you.
Right, we've got the hand on start microscope all set up now. All I need to do is power it up. And as you can see, there's your welcome screen. I've got a small service mount component board there. Um, just to show you how good a quality the, the magnification is. The screen's a fair size, it's enough to do the job. I haven't tried it on the HDMI, but apparently it's uh, it's what people are going for these days. I have got a decent sized screen I can plug into it. And um, I can't understand why you get an extra set of leads, but there's one single lead, which I suppose can fit in the back of here. Um, but this, there's a little bit of a jumble of leads on a controller here. Um, if you don't use this, you don't get power to these LEDs. So if you need extra light, I suppose without it, I suppose we will try it without the light. There you go. So it will actually adjust to the, um, the look setting. And it, even though it doesn't look as bright, it's still quite a good, good picture. Um, power back on again. But that looks fine to me. Anyway, that's me, me small video of unboxing. That's the ADSM 302. They're about £175 on eBay. And um, I bought it off a seller called Trust China. And uh, the, it came within three days. So it actually worked out cheaper than buying it direct from the, the main maker of these, the Andon Star Company, because they wanted $200. Um, and then it would be shipment and then import duties uh, it worked out actually cheaper to buy from eBay so there you go right I'll just show you the weight 1438 grams that's the quality of the screen I'll show you the connections on it so you've got there's your video out. She will go the right way around so you can see the letters. H HD out. A couple of power connectors. Memory card. Yeah. And an AV out. Nothing on the side. A few control buttons. Which if I tilt it up it'll show you there's the power. Okay. Up and down. Nothing on this side, and just to show you this how small this circuit board is, that, that's a pound coin there. So, I mean, compared to a finger, I'll pop a finger in, you can see it's quite a small, small board. That this is a remote control, it feels a little bit sharp on the sides. You know, sharp plastic it isn't as refined as a CNLG remote controller or, or a Panasonic but I mean it's, it's still functional obviously it'll probably wear down on the edges just obviously it does feel sharp enough to actually you could cut you that so I might even run a file along the edge of it just to, it feels a little bit sharp in the in the in the process of it being made they've obviously never looked into smoothing these edges down Right, power supply, turn that round, so see his DC adapter, 2 amps, 5 volts, it's a standard USB outlet, and here's the leads, this is that single lead which I suppose you could use it by itself without the lights. And that's the HDMI with the micro HDMI connection on. Anyway, I hope you like my review. Well, I've just set the scope up with uh, the HDMI high def socket there into the top. I've got the same uh, little PCB board plugged in, and that's a 40 inch television. We've got it. Uh, connected to now the screen goes off when you plug the HDMI in and when you reconnect it it'll actually uh, it'll come back on as it's supposed to there you go so you can choose between one or the other but you can't have them both together and obviously when you plug it back in 
that goes off and the 40 inch screen comes back on.